Hello, and welcome to Dusk. I've got quite a few requests to play this game, and it's Christmas Eve, so I was like, fuck it, let's record some Dusk. So, I was initially, I was going to record this game whenever I got it on my list, but since I got some requests, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna record it now, and if I get it on my list, I'll play it again, just not recorded. Because uh, I love this game. The last time I played it was the end of 2020, and that was my first time playing through it, and I fucking loved it. So, absolutely, I'm going to have a blast with this. <laughs> I've been wanting to play Dusk again anyway. Um, Fatal Frame 2 as well, but I'll be recording that another day, because I'm having some troubles getting things set up. But... So basically, in Dusk, it's a retro-style first-person shooter. You're playing as Dusk Dude. Oh, hang on. Da -na -na. Da -na -na. Anyway, you play as Dusk Dude, or the Intruder, um, as he's known as well. You know, I, every time I play Quick Champions Doom Edition, I love playing Intruder. I love Dusk. Dusk slaps. Dusk is, honestly, in my opinion, I like it more than Doom Eternal. I think it's a much better game than Doom Eternal. That's just my opinion. Anyway, let's hop right into it. So we'll do new episode, Foothills, Cerro Miedo. Let's do it. I know it says it's not intended for a first playthrough, but I, I did Cerro Miedo on my first playthrough. Dusk. All right. And this game drops you right into it as well. Kill the intruder. There we go. Uh, is there pixelation? Uh, I'd like to not have any, to be honest. Nah. No pixelation. There we go. I want my game looking crispy. Let's go to blow that open. I don't know all the secrets, uh, so don't expect like a full secret run, because I'm pretty bad at finding secrets anyway. I will, however, try my best to get to the secret levels, because those are, those are always important. Let's head through here. Uh... I love Dusk though, the game is so fucking fast. It's amazing how fucking quickly you move in this game. It feels so nice. Flick. Yeah, there we go. Also, the sound design from the shotgun is literally superb. It is fucking amazing. It's so meaty, I love it. <laughs> Alright, let's head through here. Alright, let's head through the house. I know there's a second shotgun. You're supposed to get it in the house, but that secret allows you to grab an early shotgun. Which will allow us to fucking dual wield it, baby. Nice dirty house. Alright, bar of soap as well. Actually, how do- oh, there we go. I can turn on the level stats by doing that. I might as well keep that on for you guys. For you guys. Soap OP, by the way. Very, very OP. Soap is, like, cracked in this game. Uh... I'm not gonna mess around with it too much, though. Ooh, wait a minute. I wonder what that line on my screen underneath the stuff is. That's weird. It looks rotten. It looks rotten. All right. Ah, ha, ha. here we go. This is what I was looking for. I thought there was a you, yeah, you definitely can get down there. I just don't remember how. 
Dusk shotgun is amazing. <laughs> ah, ah, I forgot how to get down there. It's even down there. Super shotgun, I think. That that's what that looks like. Holy shit! I didn't know you could get the SSG on the first level. Ah, oh, haha! Damn, that's a really early SSG. It's good to know, though. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll leave that on. Yeah, don't expect, like, full stats, though. Don't expect full stats, because I'm not the best at secret finding, and never will be. Woo! Oh, there's the last enemy, at least. Cool. And that is episode one, Head Cheese. Or, mission one, I should say. Down on the farm's a good map. Time to break up the party. Woo! Oh, I'm already, uh, almost dead, too. <laughs> Difficulty mode does not mess around. But neither do I. Looks like there's a lot, lot more enemies than I, than I remember. Jeez. Too many enemies. <laughs> nah, that trick doesn't work. Like in Source games, no, it doesn't work here. Uh, Alright. Eh, yeah, you know, I will leave it off. That was shitty misses. Fuck. Dusk's arsenal is so good. <laughs> Love how those things just get fucking insta killed. Ooh. Bar of soap. Like, do I already... Nope. I didn't grab it. That's all. Riveter ammos for the rocket launcher. It's like a... It's like... It, you know, might as well call it a BFG, because that thing is powerful. The Riveter is a rocket launcher. Fires really fast and does a lot of damage. That thing is great. Scarecrows are pretty tough, too. Because they're basically using an SSG as well, but there's this projectile. Two and one, let's go. Game's too fast. Ah! I love bunny hopping also. It's really simple to do in this game as well. Which I like even more. Yeah! Two and one.
I'm also gonna try and go for no deaths, but I can't guarantee anything. We're just gonna go straight to the secret exit. Cause I know it for sure on this this episode. Take that hit that switch, take this barrel, jump up here. Get a bunch of goodies here. Open this. Get some more goodies. You can teleport back, but I'd rather use the secret exit. And there's the riveter too. Cool. All right, that was down on the farm. Missed a few kills, a few secrets, but that's no matter. Oh yeah, I forgot. If you press R, you can do that too, which is cool. And there's also a weapon wheel, which does it work? No turning back no. now. All right, let's go. Rat. Uh. I kind of remember this one, kind of don't. Hang on, let me, uh, turn on the music. Just a tad. So you can hear the gameplay, first and foremost. Anyway, um... Yeah, I, I love this game so much, and also the... I really like the, uh... That the Dusk Dude is just, like, searching for treasure, but then he gets fucking slapped onto a meat hook, and that's where the game starts. I think that's fucking awesome. Dusk, Pennsylvania, by the way, is the fictional town this game takes place in. Ooh, I hear that. I don't think I've actually uh, played through the secret level though. Like I've unlocked it, I just haven't done it. Because I definitely didn't find any secret levels on my first playthrough. But when I was replaying the game just a tiny bit, just to mess around some more, I did find this one. Because I was like, how the fuck are you supposed to get into that area? And then I'm like, oh right, you can lift objects. <laughs> so. I fucking love how fast this game is, too. Alright. I love how they say, uh... Blood and heretic. You could see that as a reference to heretic and blood. Which are both... Also... Retro FPS games. Yeah. How do I get in there, though? I probably took the wrong way around. So I just gotta go back. No fall damage in this game, thankfully. Oh, let's go back. I th yeah, I think I need to get the red key first. Well, let's do that. Fuck those things. I do like that they explode like that when they're when they die though. <laughs> there goes his body. <laughs> Just down this little tunnel. Phew. Explode. Ooh. Awesome. Alright, so you could also do vertical flips in this game, though I turn that off because it kind of messes me up a little bit if I'm doing vertical stuff. Like if I look straight down and then all of a sudden I'm looking like I'm flipping. It messes me up, but it's cool. A lot of shit in this game is cool. Dusk is all about the cool. <laughs> Just did a backflip. Oop. There we go. Oh, nope. There we go. Actually, I don't think doing this does anything. I don't think there's any, like, secret you could get to. Maybe, actually. Let's try that again. I, I honestly could just make it easier on myself and do this. 
Should've just done that from the start. Oh, there's the red key. I missed it completely. Let's head back. And let's head back. Whee! Oh, that's how you get that. Awesome. Or maybe not. Aha! And soap. Let's go. Completely missed. Whoops. <laughs> Secret in there? No. Morale is basically armor in this game as well, so keep a, a note out for that. Oh, this game could be a fucking blast to speedrun as well. I could see that happening. I mean, I know there's already people who've probably speedran this game to hell and back. I haven't watched any Dusk speedruns myself, but I imagine it'd be a fun fucking thing to do. To be a part of. Get out of here. It amazes me how even the basic pistol's fucking good. Especially dual wielded. Oh. My phone. My phone distracted me. Fuck. Yeah! <laughs> the gate raises. Alright, time to head back then. I'm just doing stuff to be extra right now. Like I'm a karate fucking champion over here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Should be something over here. Yeah. I do remember when the I do remember the secret level a little bit, even though I never really finished it. I know there's that blue key thing there. Hey, here's that menu sound. Yeah. So it's just uh pipes smacking into stuff. Got it. Tree for the win, let's exit. All right. All kills, too. Almost all secrets, too. And now we enter Old Time Religion, one of the, I'd say, the game's most, uh... No turning back now. ...recognized levels. It's also a multiplayer map, too. So there's that key there. Well, he did say he was looking for treasures. Might as well be a grave robber, too. Shotgun shells. Riveter ammo, which I haven't used yet, but here it is. <laughs> Alright, let's head uh Let's keep going. Eh. Fuck it, let's use the Riveter on that thing. Fucking hate the Scarecrows. I need a blue key for that. I do have yellow, which means we could go inside here. Okay. <laughs> a little overkill. You know what? 
Absolutely. <laughs> oh yeah, you can also drink in this game. Beer. And you can get drunk too. I will take this with me. You'll see why soon. Probably when I get to that is when you'll see. But I know, actually, you know what? I'm gonna grab it and move it. Over there. Yeah, there we go. So just so I know where it is completely. Ah! There we go. All the weapons in this game are really good. Even the sickle. Well, no, nah, I'd say the sickles are probably the only, like, really weak weapon. But every other weapon you can use to effectiveness. Oh. Damn. They made the thing explode. In my face. Not nice. Oh, wait a minute. The, uh, um... Yeah, yeah. Blue is where we want to go. Forgot about that. This reminds me of the one Doom 1 level. Was it E1M2? Just these little, like, platforms remind me of that. And they have the cultists up there. Yeah, this... Even, like, these little things, yeah. It reminds me a lot of E1M2. Woo! Whoa. Two jibs in one. Awesome. See if you can make anyone explode. Completely missed. Awesome. Oh well, got him to explode anyway. Is there a secret here? Oh no, it just takes you back here. Got it. Do 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 do. All right. Soap. Heretic. We traded God for demons. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, what's in here? Uh, where I need to go? Maybe. I want to make sure I can keep the soap with me. Is where you have to go. Okay. Oh! Haha, <laughs> that's- that's tricky. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I want to take this with me. Must take soap. You'll see why. Almost. Alright, hello, Mr. Intoxicator. Goodbye, Mr. Intoxicator. My pet. You'll pay for that. Quite a weak pet, if you ask me. Let's get drunk. Let's get drunk on all the beers. I can't grab it! There we go. Yeah! Awesome. door opens elsewhere. Huh. Didn't I just press a button? No. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, this is actually fucking trippy. There it is. Finished a level drunk. Let's go! No secrets, because I suck.